morning, Eagle Nation. It's me, your proud principal, Mr. Parslin, live from the EdTV studio on the first floor. So now we're in day two, and you've run through three quarters of your schedule, and you've learned the path through the building. So you've seen where you'll be, what you'll take, how you'll do it, and when you'll go. But I want to talk to you today about the most important part. I want to talk to you about the purpose for all of it, why we do what we do here at PNHS. The truth is that for years, in every lesson we teach, every assignment we give, every activity we run, and every meeting we have, there's been an unspoken purpose behind what we do, and it's time for that unspoken purpose to be spoken. It's easy, over four years of high school, to get lost in the idea that this place is just a factory that hands out grades in Aspen or ranks humans by GPA. But the reality is that it is much, much more than that. What we do every day in addition to that content is help you find a way to becoming the best version of yourself that you can be. And that's why we show up to work every day. And it shows up in three big ways, community, professionalism, and resilience. And you probably saw that in my email to you last week. If you do well in content and grades and credits, that's great. But really, that's only the foundation or the start of your success. For you to be the best version of you that you can be, you need to have a strong sense of community, professionalism, and resilience. And in everything we do as adults in this building, we are helping to build that in you just as much as the content that we cover in your class. So I want to explain it by starting at the end and working backwards. To be a better you, we need you to be resilient. We need you to be able to recover quickly from challenges and exhibit toughness. The toughness to do difficult things is what separates your success from your failure. I know life isn't easy for any of you, but the ability to face that head on and to learn to do that today is what's gonna make you into the best version of yourself tomorrow. So what does resilience look like? Resilience looks like getting up out of bed and getting to school on time. Even when life is tough or you don't want to or things out of your control are making it difficult. Research routinely shows that just being here physically makes you eight times more likely to pass your classes. Resilience means taking the time to do your own work and putting pride into it. There will always and always have been resources to copy or ways to avoid or even now chat GPT to do your work. But none of those things, even if you use them, will make you into a better version of yourself. Resilience means listening to feedback from teachers and administrators, but also friends and parents about how to get better, and then being reflective on how you can improve and putting that plan into action. And resilience means using your voice to stand up and stick up for those less fortunate or even for yourself. So to be a better you, we want you to be resilient, but we also want you to develop a strong sense of professionalism or the skill and good judgment and behavior that's expected from someone who can do a job well. We want everyone out there to see what we see in you in here, a person who has unbelievable potential that can achieve anything. But if you're gonna get the chance to achieve that out there in the world, you have to project yourself in a way that inspires those with the power to give you the shot to do it. So what does professionalism looks like, look like? Professionalism looks like taking the time to be organized, manage your time to get stuff done, and meet high expectations in classes and clubs and sports. It looks like communicating with respect and thoughtfulness and care to students and staff and even your family members to make them feel good instead of tearing them down. Professionalism is keeping your phone away and looking engaged and being engaged in professional situations like classes and meetings and practices. Professionalism is being honest and professionalism is being thoughtful and empathetic to those who might not have all the qualities that you do. So we want you to be professionalism, we want you to have professionalism, we want you to be resilient, but most importantly though, for you to be a better you it takes all of us. You are part of a classroom and a grade and a school and a community that represents something bigger than yourself. 
There are years of tradition in this building that this high school was built upon that is one of fun and success and academic excellence and unbelievable pride. So take the time to be a thoughtful, engaged member of your classroom. Don't be afraid to share answers. Help your friends, collaborate with fellow students on what you're working on. Take time to be an invested, involved member of our school. Join a sport, join a club, make a difference. Our school has a ton of opportunities, more than most. And don't be afraid to jump in with those opportunities with both feet and make your mark here. And then take the time to be a respectful member of our town. Through clubs, community groups, activities, there are countless ways to make Plymouth a stronger, smarter, better place for everybody. So don't be afraid to find your own way to make an impact, even right now. So Eagles, if there is anything I want you to hear today, it's this. This is your year. The setbacks of the past, the struggles of yesteryear, they're all behind us. No more excuses. Laying in front of you is the opportunity to be the very best version of yourself that you can be. And all you have to do to get there is try to be a little bit better today than you were yesterday. You do not have to be perfect. And what I can promise you that we will give you back is that helping you be the best you is the biggest reason that all of us who work here wake up and come to work every day. We have amazing teachers and counselors and secretaries and paras and custodians and food service workers that could work anywhere, but they choose every morning to get up, get ready, and come here to work, to try to help you become the best, most individual you that you can be. They are shining stairwells, perfecting websites, refining recipes, learning strategies, crafting activities that they are excited to give you today and for 178 more days. So my advice to you, with all of that looking forward, soak it up. Show up every day. Put the phone away. Get the work done. And invest yourself in everything we have here. Not just because the rules say that you have to. Not just because the grades come out four times a year, but because every day here is a brand new opportunity to make yourself into the best or a better version of you that you can be. I know you can do it because I've seen it happen here. Ask Annalise Lopes, who for years in the facilities management, management program toiled away, learning skills and refining her knowledge until this past June when she went to Atlanta and she was named the gold medalist national winner in the Facilithon. She is the number one person in America right here in this high school. And she wasn't born knowing facilities management or being perfect at anything. She worked hard, she got better every day, and she leaned into the amazing stuff that Mr. South was teaching her. She's just one example of the success that every single one of you can have here by working to just be a little bit better today than you were yesterday. So listen, be resilient, be tough, stand up and be tough against any challenge. Exude professionalism, show everybody in the world how successful you can be and invest in our community. Make your classrooms and your school and your town a better place for everybody. And do it all not because some handbook or some person with a tie-on said you need to, but do it for you. Do it because every effort will bring you closer to the successful person in your life that I know you're destined to become. So two days in, 178 to go. Have a great year, be your best self, and make the years of eagles that have walked through these halls before you proud of what you're doing now. It is a great day and a great year to be a Plymouth North Eagle.